subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, my name is Bidisha Biswas. I'm a political scientist based in the United States. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Indian American voter preferences with regard to the US presidential election of 2020. First, a bit of context. The Indian population in the US is fairly recent. It has doubled since 2000 from about 2 million to about 4 million. And of that, about 1.8 million are eligible to vote in the U.S. elections. Now, relative to the overall U.S. voting population, that is not a very large number. But the Indian American vote is actually coveted by both the Democratic and the Republican Party because of where they're located. Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, both cities in Texas, Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, Atlanta in Georgia. These are all cities with pretty large numbers of Indians. And these are all cities and states that are battleground states where the vote is expected to be close and which would be important wins for either candidate. And looking beyond those particular cities as well, if you we look at states like Florida, we look at states like North Carolina, um, these are also states that are battleground. And so there's a pretty fierce uh, campaign going on in, in on both sides to cultivate the Indian American vote, in addition to the fact that the Indian American population is pretty wealthy in the US, and so they're also valuable for their campaign donations. Keeping all this in mind, the AAPI collects um, data every four years on the voting preferences of Asian Americans as a whole. And if you look at the results, we see that amongst Indian Americans, as with other Asian Americans, Joe Biden is doing very well. And with Indian Americans in particular, 65% of them reported that they would vote for Biden. Biden is also well liked amongst Indian Americans, with about 72% saying they view him favorably, which contrasts to only about 36% of Indian Americans saying that they like Donald Trump. So these overall numbers are good for the Democratic Party, but they actually also show a little bit of a downward shift from previous elections, where in 2012 and 2016, Indian Americans voted by higher margins for the Democratic candidate, by about 84% of Indian Americans voted for Clinton in 16 and Obama in 2012. Um, even if we take into account that pre-election survey is a little bit different from what actually happens in an election, we do see that, yes, the Republican Party has been able to peel off at least some proportion of Indian Americans. Um, why is that? I would say one of the reasons is that Donald Trump has tried very hard to court the Indian American vote. Um, there was the Howdy Modi rally in Houston last year. There was his trip to India this year, which was very big on optics. Um, Trump is very much a salesman. So there are these rallies, there are tweets and statements about how much he loves India and how much he loves Indian Americans. And all of those, I would say, have borne fruit. Still, if we look at the issues that matter to Indian Americans, I think it is very clear that a Biden-Harris administration would serve Indian Americans much better. The main issues that the survey shows to be important, uh, really to all Asian American groups, is jobs and healthcare in the context of the COVID pandemic. And we know that since March 2020, the Trump administration really hasn't done well on either of those regards, which is why several months after the pandemic started, the United States has not been able to get a handle on infection rates, on fatalities, and has not really been able to reopen itself. And, and that pain is being felt by all Americans, including Indian Americans. I mean, in contrast, the Biden-Harris administration actually has a plan to deal with these issues. Immigration is a big issue for Indians because so many Indians are pretty recent migrants to the US. Um, again, you know, Trump sort of talks a good game. He you know, has nice photo ops of naturalization ceremonies. He talks about how much he likes Indians. But if you actually look at this immigration policy, it becomes very clear that he is, he and his administration is very opposed not only to illegal immigration, but also to legal immigration. And they have taken a lot of steps to clamp down on some worker visas, student visas, family sponsorships, which are all pathways that Indians have used. And perhaps even worse than that, uh, the Trump administration's rule changes have been very ad hoc, right? very confusing, and that creates a lot of anxiety for immigrants. Um, India-US relations, again here, 
big on optics, visits, tweets, statements, um, but the Trump administration has been weak on China, which has enabled China, emboldened China, and India has been at the receiving end of that. Um, I think the Biden administration promises a more strategic approach to limiting China's influence and to working with India on that. Um, Trump promised a trade deal that hasn't materialized. Um, Trump also withdrew from the Paris Climate Accords and stopped all of the, I would say, pretty impressive work that the Biden, um, the B Biden Obama administration had done while President Obama was in power on clean energy, um, and that is, I think, is a very, very important concern both for India and for the United States, and that's something that the Biden administration uh, promises to address more comprehensively, and perhaps you know very importantly is the question of representation. I think the Trump administration is very white, very unapologetically so in all his policies. It definitely shows through in immigration and it shows through in his cabinet, which is very male and almost exclusively white. Uh, in contrast, Joe Biden has, of course, chosen Kamala Harris as his vice presidential candidate. And she reflects the diversity of America and she also reflects the contributions of Indians to the United States. And overall, in his political career, in his platform, I think Joe Biden shows um, a much deeper commitment to promoting America's diversity, which is something that is important to Indian Americans as it is to all um, Asian American groups. Um, and so, you know, if we think about the shifts that have happened, the shift towards the Republican Party, I think it's happened primarily because the Indian population has grown, right? So it's become more confident, it's become more assertive, and you also have many more voices within that that diaspora group. And so the Democratic Party can no longer take the Indian American vote for granted as it used to be able to in the 1990s or the early 2000s. But at the same time, if we drill down to the policies, we see that there is very, very good reasons to explain why a strong majority of Indian Americans still support the Democratic platform and are still inclined to vote for the Biden-Harris ticket. Thank you.